Okay, now I'm saved. Uh, so, my alphabet is a, is a letter drawing workshop designed for children. Uh, the main purpose is to show the importance of visual communication to kids from eight to 13 years old. I have to be for, okay. Uh, by stimulating them to start creating their personal alphabets. This is me and Gabriela Paz, my, my partner in crime in this project. During the first edition of Meu Alphabet Workshop, uh, within Caixa de Letras, or Letterbox exhibition, back in 2011 in Brasilia. Um, this is a, an exhibition that I designed to show the importance of the letters throughout our daily lives. Right now, the exhibition is happening here in Sao Paulo at the Museum of Portuguese Language, but I'll talk about it in the end of the presentation. Back to Brasilia, we were off to, to a good start with a, with a group of quite interested uh, children, although because it was like a, a free activity in a cultural space of the city, we couldn't, uh, we, we, we showed them that we wanted kids from eight to 13 years old, but we couldn't quite control that. So whenever someone will show up to draw, we couldn't say no to Elena, age five, or we couldn't say no to Pedro, also five, who drew his monster-shaped name, <laughs> or, or Isadora, aged four, and as Isadora is showing, this is what we ask the kids. We ask the kids to draw their names in as many ways as they can think of. Whenever, whenever a student ran out of ideas, we would suggest analogies, such as, what would your name look like if it were on fire? Or what if it were made out of plants? What if your name was melting like ice cream? The drawing of one's name makes up for a strong connection between the participants and their letters. After about 30 minutes and a few sheets filled, we would hang all the drawn names on the wall. And this is a key moment when the kids can see each other approaches and make comments, thus expanding the drawing possibilities and their own understanding of the letters. Then they were asked to fill out at least one more sheet with their names, either to refine a previous idea or to come up with a new one. After one hour or so of name drawing, we took the class on a short guided tour through the exhibition. I was a bit skeptical of showing them uh, already made letters to influence them, but since we were so close, like let, let's give it a try. After reviewing the latest drawings, we asked the kids to think about the shape of all the other letters, uh, aside from the ones on their names, based on their favorite name design. So they made a grid on an A3 sheet, like the example on the whiteboard that I, I, I showed them. That would help having the letters with similar measurements. Once they were done, we hung the alphabets on the wall for one final analysis. And after a while, some of them started to comment and help each other out, which was a really nice thing. And again, the moment of review and comparison was extremely rich and thoughtful. And these are some of the results. This is Bruna, 11 years old. This is Cecilia, eight years old. Beatriz, 11. Another Beatriz, 11. At some point, she decided for alter alternate characters. You can see that, like three or four sometimes, like in here. Um, we can tell Gustavo, 12, was completely influenced by the pichação typefaces presented at the guided tour right after, after the break. This is Gabriel, 10. Laura, 12. And 
one of the things that got me and Gabriela really amazed was the almost tactile expression of their personalities through the letters, or at least of their moods in that day. This is Maria Luisa, 10. Giovanna, 9. Giovanna made her mood quite clear. She said here, humor, happy. <laughs> she said, I'm happy. OK, nice. This is Aria, 11 years old. Personalities. Luis Eduardo, 10, versus Beatriz, 9. Apparently, Beatriz is quite a common name in Brazilian. I'm sorry the, this picture of Andres got blurry because he was working on an alphabet from its counterforms. Quite unusual. So one great first, my alphabet class. After Brasilia, we started offering the workshop here in Sao Paulo in partnership with SESCS, which is the social service of the commerce. Um, only this time, the parents joined the fund, and that triggered us to try a slightly different approach. Uh, we had fewer kids than Brasilia, under nine years old, with par mostly under nine years old, with parents. So we took the time to do more drawings on the board while asking the kids to speculate about the shapes of each letter. After having their names drawn, we divided the alphabet in groups of three letters so they could focus more on exploring shape variations. We also hung everything so they could see the whole picture and get new ideas followed by the drawing and analysis of the alphabets. And again, personality is sprung through the kids' drawings. And their parents. Making interesting pair of fonts. Or not. Um, another edition of the workshop with parents drawing with the kids, this time in Sesc Santos, in a city by the sea an hour from, from Sao São Paulo. This time with way more attendance, over 30 children, ages from 6 to 12. And in this case, in Santos, uh, it felt like the kids were used to going to those workshops together. So it felt a bit like a class. So everybody knew each other somehow. So th there was way more uh, noises and, and fun among them. The approach was closer to what we did in Brasilia. No more splitting the alphabets among groups. Higher focus on suggesting shapes, either by drawing or verbalizing like suggesting possibilities on fire and, and so on. And these are some of the outcome. <clears throat> monsters, always monsters. Um, Whenever we organize male alphabet workshops, um, we lack the opportunity of expanding the exercise with the same kids in more than a single encounter or event to work with students of the same age group. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, Caixa de Letras is in Sao Paulo at the Museum of Portuguese Language. And this edition of the exhibit is sponsored by a group of three schools, uh, Albert Sabin, uh, A.B. Sabin and Vital Brasil. In order to reach out for all of the students, which is over a thousand, the school invited me to train the teachers into applying my alphabet in loco. So these, these are some of the, the, the teachers that, we, that I spoke to, that we, we, we did the workshop. So 
I made, I made them go through the workshop, explaining the process and discussing better ways of combining the exercises with assignments from students' regular disciplines like music, biology, and mathematics. And this teaching experience got me a bit concerned at first um, because uh, as most of the teachers' alphabets ended up being quite ordinary, lacking most of the creativity we see in children's work. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't be surprised as this is a good indication of how important it is to always cultivate drawing and art skills as we grow up. But especially, uh, I was a bit concerned because those were the one in charge of letting the, the, the children uh, play with the letters to, to teach them how to do it further. Um, and uh, these are the teachers again, sorry, double slide. Uh, one, one of the things that I mentioned to the, to the teachers during that experience is that from the first moment when I was, they were designing, they were drawing their names, they started, oh, but I'm not that good at this. Oh, look at yours, yours is way better. They were starting to, to not letting the, the, creati the creativity flow. So I said, you're, you're doing like a censorship to each other. Don't do that. Try to focus on your, uh, the possibilities that you have in front of you, but don't try to censor you because of what someone else is doing. And that thing, the kids doesn't do. That's one of the great things about the kids. So uh, I try to ward them. Don't do that when, when you're reaching out to the kids. They, they need to, to let it flow to explore the letters in the best way they can. Uh, so this is the... The exhibition is, in, is at the museum. Uh, I would like to invite you all to, to, see, to see the exhibition probably on Sunday or other day here in Sao Paulo. And I expect to, to take this experience with the teachers from, from the schools uh, a bit further, like in the, in the future, so we can expand the, the ideas of, of giving the workshop and, and developing more the, the teaching of the letters to to the kids and, and make them draw even more letters. This is it. Thank you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, first of all, I think it was an amazing idea what you did. Thank you. Uh, I want to ask if you had the opportunity of working with kids with different kind of problems or difficulties, like uh, kids on wheelchairs or with uh, learning difficulties. Um, I think it's a really interesting and really complete project, like for kids, every kid. So I, I don't know. I want to know that if you have have it in mind or. Something like that. Uh, I, I didn't have this chance yet, but from, from a, a brief moment, uh, Gabriela, which is my, my partner in this project, she uh, did uh, an experience of teaching kids from a uh, juvenile hall. So they are arrested. They are, they are from 15 to 18 years old. Unfortunately, she couldn't take pictures of the kids or even the letters. I mean, she took a few pictures of the letters, but uh, it, it was this opportunity that we, could, we, we would like to have further developed, but there, there was really like a, a brief moment that she, couldn't, that, that she did that. And we couldn't extract anything uh, educational about uh, the experience. We wanted to do more, but then the director of the juvenile hall who asked her to do it got fired, and then we lost that connection yeah. somehow. But it, it would be interesting to, to further expand this. Um, what type of uh, subjects or things were you talking about during the critiques with the kids? Um, I, was, I was pointing to them uh, on the, let me show you the, that image. Yeah. 
Well, actually, uh, during the critiques, um, it, it, it was more of a moment of reviewing the alphabets and, and showing them uh, what, what was the, the possibilities of drawing the, the letter. So whenever one of the kids will come up with a, with a different shape for a letter, I would call their attention to, look, this is, uh, this is another possibility of how different that student came with an idea compared to the others. Uh, at some points, I would ask the students, which one do you prefer aside from yours? So they would say, oh, I like this one because it reminds me of this and that. So it, it was a moment of letting the, the kids to express their feelings and, and their opinions on which ones they like and which ones they don't, on of how they relate those shapes with their experience, their living experience. Oh, that reminds me of a, a cartoon, a TV show, or, or anything that they have in mind. This was like most of it. I wasn't like criticizing, this was bad, you, you, you didn't do it good. It was more of expanding the possibilities. I think this is a good example for, um, to understand the creativity, uh, creative children. Um, are you planning to propose this uh, uh, an examples to for children education during the uh, the uh, first years of uh, education in, in, a, in a elementary school maybe as in a project it, the, yeah. the teacher maybe uh, will uh, give as an example to children to find out the creativity from the from the uh, typography side. Uh, well, th this is one of the, the possible outcomes of, of this partnership with the schools. So this is like one of the things that we, we look forward to, to expand with the teachers. This is like the very first step, which was just to let the teachers know how the workshops work, how, how, how it happens, and to think of ways to explore the, this process with the kids given their uh, daily assignments. So after that, well, after like a few... Uh, uh, a few takes on the on the kids of, of those of the workshop then I can hear feedback from the teachers and then we can discuss better ways to to improve the to the workshop in a like a weekly basis or the daily basis with the same group of students yeah. I mean it's children you know in the elementary school they are, uh, the instructors they uh, direct them to write certain structure of the uh, uh, yes. Uh, form, but this while is, they were out being exactly. alphabetized, this is the perfectly uh, works for the students, uh, the children, because it's all about the play. Exactly. And uh, uh, they will learn through the, and they will explore their creativity through the play. And, so. and uh, one of the things that I discuss with the teachers uh, from from the schools is uh, opportunities to uh, use that that technique, that that structure. So, for instance. Uh, one of the assignments of the students is to draw, uh, to write their names on badges that will hold on tables. That would be an idea. Or to come up with a poster for Mother's Day or Father's Day. Those, th there are plenty of opportunities for kids Definitely. to draw letters during the school. So this, I Thank was you. trying to get them into that. Thank you. You're welcome. Good. Any other questions? Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you all.